Hi there, and welcome to the Planet Zoo Every Animal Franchise Zoo. Today, we're continuing our adventure to add every single animal into this zoo. We're up to 106 species in so far, so not insignificant progress, but there's still a few to go. This week, we're still in the eyes, so some Indian animals still to add. Last week, we added the hippopotamus, and that was quite an intensive build. We also put in their neighbours the Indian elephant and their house with the proboscis monkey. We also got in the grizzly bear and the Himalayan bear and they have a shared space back here. So that's where we're up to. Time for new animals. First today is the Indian peafowl. I've done quite a few peafowl enclosures in my time so I do like building for them. We can do a walkthrough enclosure but no, we're not going there. After the Lima debacle, nah, we're not doing any more walkthrough enclosures in this zoo, unfortunately. Space-wise, we've got a big space here, but we don't need that much room for the peafowls, so I'm thinking we go into this corner over here. This is right by the second entrance, and peafowl might be a bit of a draw, maybe? Although, considering the peafowls don't take up a lot of room, maybe we could put them right next to the staff buildings over here? Yeah, I think I'm gonna try here. So this week's builds, it's a bit of a different pace than I've done before. I know I've mentioned before, YouTube isn't my day job. I do have an actual job that I have to show up five days a week to. The work I do, it's one of those jobs that suffers from crunch time. Basically, that means I have times where I'm less busy and then sometimes I'm really busy and I'm working so many hours to get something over the line. Well, currently I'm in crunch point. This is intensive work during the day and it's leaving me a little tired, <laughs> to say the least, at night. So at this point, YouTube has taken a bit of a backseat right now. I had to skip a video last week because of all this because I was far too busy and far too tired to do anything with Planet Zoo. But this week, so what I decided, I thought I'd set myself a challenge. What can I achieve in a day? So typically, I like to get between 5 and 10 animals done in a video. For that level, it means I'm in Planet Zoo maybe 4 or 5 days a week to get those enclosures done. But having less time this week, I wondered how many animals could I get in in a day? That would have to include the editing time for the video and also the voiceover that I'm doing right now. So challenge set, this is what I've achieved. The habitats for this video are a true speed build. There's no research, there's no deliberation. I've purely gone in and thrown down what I thought would fit straight away. First up for this is the peafowl. I have fond memories for the peafowl. Peafowl is one of the first animals that I ever put into Planet Zoo when I first picked up the game. Back when Planet Zoo was in beta, I think the peafowl was one of the first animals I ever created a habitat for, to be honest. Since then, I've done some very detailed habitats for the peafowl. They're one of the most versatile animals you can work with in the game. They don't take up a lot of room. They're confident with guests. You can even make a walkthrough enclosure if you're brave enough to do that. I've created some quite elaborate enclosures for the peafowl in the past so it was a little bit weird making something very basic for them in this challenge basically it's a shed with a bit of an outdoor space for them hey ho the peafowls are happy with it so that's all that counts for this challenge something that i'm sort of regretting already with the peafowls you can have one male or you can have up to four males now for this i've put in one male and three females because you need four peafowls in an enclosure for them to be happy i'm starting to wish that i got two males and two females to make this ratio okay <laughs> kind of fearing we're gonna have an explosion of peafowls in the zoo anytime soon so here's what we've got for the peafowls it's quite a small enclosure basically a um, bit of an outside space and a bit of an inside space within the shed that i've made here really capitalized on the fact that the peafowls aren't very demanding they don't really need that much in the enclosure to make them happy open this section out a bit so they can walk through quite easily and we've got the usual things that the peafowl enjoy so the mirror enrichment here love this thing it's because it's got the cds on it <laughs> i say like, where was the last time anyone had cds zoo has been raising the charity shops i guess for those 
Shall we take a look at the peacock? See if they're gonna raise their feathers for us while we're taking a look around? Yeah? Nah. Nah, they're not gonna do it. Hey ho. Let's take a look at a bird's eye view. Yep, so quite a small enclosure for the peafowl here. And not my finest work, but we're on a challenge here. I need to get this all done in one day, so <laughs> let's let's say it is what it is. On to the next one. Indian rhinoceros. Just two rhinos needed for the enrichment needs. Space-wise for these two, medium space needed compared to the other animals that we've put in the zoo so far can be housed with the Asian otter or the wild water buffalo. Since we've already got the Asian otter in the zoo, it's a wild water buffalo for this one. We need three buffalo for the social needs. So again, not too much space needed. So this is what I've been saving this space before from. I think both of these animals can be housed quite easily in this big space right here. We might actually even have a bit too much space, but <laughs> let's see on that. Indian rhinoceros and Asian water buffalo are quite an interesting species to mix here. The only biomes they share are grasslands and aquatic. And as we all know, grasslands biomes are a bit of a pain in this game. Whenever I get a grasslands animal, all they want is the terrain paint grass, like long grass, and that's, oh, it's really annoying. I think more than anything, I just get really upset that so the grasslands animals when they need the long grass terrain the long terrain in this game is kind of boring and it's not been thought out that well and it's never changed from when the game first released since then we've had loads of updates and there's loads of luscious really nice looking long grass that <coughs> essentially is the long grass that i wish i could put into these enclosures game doesn't let me do that so I have to use the terrain paint for the long grass and I'm not being funny but I run this game on quite high settings so my grass feature settings are quite high even with that when you zoom out it's like there's no grass there at all so when you've got animals that refuse they just don't like you having vegetation in their enclosures at all and they just want the long grass it looks so empty and boring I am starting to learn to live with this and for most of my enclosures I'm starting to make it more interesting so that you, you don't notice how bare it is with the long grass feature. But as I said before, I'm on a time limit with this enclosure. I, I want to get these done. Well, basically I have one day to get these done. So I don't have time to play around with that. So we're stuck with the long grass feature for a little bit of this enclosure. Unfortunately, let's take a look what I came up with. Oh, it's a bit foggy. Sorry about that. We, we had a snowstorm in April. So, <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Okay, okay game. We'll live with that. So, this is the rhinoceros and water buffalo enclosure. I've put the water right at the front. That creates a nice natural barrier for the animals not to be able to escape. Here's our water buffalo. I do love the water buffalo. It's one of the better creatures that they put in a DLC. And here's the rhino. Looking good as always. Can't say the same about my shelter. <laughs> oh, it's a bit um it's a bit shed looking, isn't it? Sorry. I was on a time limit. Hey ho, this week has all been about just getting it done in time and progressing the zoo rather than messing about with making something that looks really good. I'm okay with how this looks. It's meeting the animal's needs and it looks okay for the zoo in general. Join me next time when hopefully I've got back to my normal level of intricate details with the animal enclosures. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.